Look, we all know that we cannot regrettably separate politics from football, especially when it comes to FIFA plonking a World Cup in the middle of a human rights sex cesspit. <laughs> Easy for me to say, Freudian slip. Cesspit in the Middle East there. What do you think about all of this, though? Should the football players have actually worn this armband and cracked on? So, um, thank you. I do believe that we, we need to walk the walk. And, uh, and I do believe in this World Cup. We all know that 12 years ago it should never have been awarded to Qatar. But, hey, we need to move on from that. But now it's arrived, we look at it and think they are still dictating what can and cannot happen. And they talk the talk around that they accept you know, the gay, the disability, et cetera, but they're not walking that walk because FIFA have bowed down to Qatar when it comes to wearing the armband. But let's be really clear about the laws of the game. The laws of the game state very clearly that you cannot wear anything that is yeah. politically, culturally or religiously well, motivated. Then, so yes. I think that's where FIFA I, I are get coming that, down. But but look, I get that, but I, I'm kind of mixed about this because obviously I, you know, I'm in favour of gay rights and I think Qatar's human rights record is, asto is astonishingly awful. But at the same time, I'm sick and tired of virtue signalling in sports. This ridiculous taking the knee before a game. Why did we ever do it? Why are we still doing it? Wearing a rainbow armband. It's every single game in the Premier League now, there's a minute's applause for something, then they take the knee, then they get up. It's like I had shoulders, knees and toes. It's bonkers. And then eventually we're all treated to a little bit of football. You you know, it's, 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 it, I, I don't understand it at all, but I'm going to go now to Andrew Warshaw, who is a football politics expert. And what do you make of, of all of this? Do you think that we should just stop the virtue signalling? We're in Qatar. We've got to abide by their laws. Just crack on. Listen, um, I think you're being a bit unfair to the players, Patrick. Um, you, you're shooting the messengers, mate. Um, it, this is down to FIFA. Um, don't forget that uh, the FIFA president only a few days ago talked about inclusivity. FIFA banged on about inclusivity till the cows come home. Um, and now at the very last minute, they've stopped the players from wearing these armbands. The players are there to play football. If, uh, if you were a player and you, and you were told you'd be booked or possibly even sent off if you wore these armbands, uh, you'd probably give in to that as well. So I think you're being a little bit unfair. But actually, my point is, though, that they should have seen this kind of stuff coming, right? And, you know, if Harry Kane makes a massive deal about it, Andrew, I'll, I'll just stay with you for now. If Harry Kane's going to make a big deal out of it, no one held a gun to Harry Kane's head and said, you've got to do this now, have you? And he decided he was going to press ahead with it anyway. And then they back out of it. I mean, it's not just Harry Kane, though, is it? It's the BBC and the likes of... All of those people, oh, it's an absolute aberration. We're going to do a, a, a panorama-style takedown of Qatar's human rights record, but we're going to send hundreds of people over there to get paid to go and report on a country and all of this stuff. Should we just all shut up about Qatar's human rights record, Andrew? Um, no, we shouldn't, because um, if it, it, don't forget, if it hadn't have been for Western pressure... Some of the human rights reforms that have taken place in Qatar since they were awarded the World Cup wouldn't have been um, well, like done what? in the first place. What? I'll tell you exactly what. Yeah. The kafala system that ties um, migrant workers um, to their employers um, without being able to get out of it, that has now been scrapped. That's been abolished by the Qatar authorities. And they, are, and they themselves, they themselves, Patrick, admit that reforms have taken place. And it's, only because, it's not because of, it's in spite of the fact so it's not in spite of, it's because of the fact that the World Cup is in Qatar that that's managed to happen because they are now obliged to show the world that, that, that progress is being made. And this has happened in politics and sport have always mixed. It's complete nonsense to suggest that it hasn't. 